counting down from four. They've been in this position before. Let's walk them to the field. Team 1318. The Issaquah Robotics Society from Issaquah, Washington. Congratulations. Oh, I got you. Just do that. <laughs> You're ready. I know you are. Team 1318 would like to invite Team 1983 to join our alliance. 1983, you've been summoned! Skunk Works Robotics from Aviation High School in Tukwila, Washington. Team 1983 graciously accepts. All right. Now the team with the data. Teams 1318 and 1983 would like to invite Team 2907 to join our alliance. 2907! It's Lion Robotics from Auburn Mountain View High School in Auburn, Washington. Team 2907 graciously accepts. All right, congratulations, guys. Go! And here we go, IRS with a double ball autonomous. The first of red is through. The second is through, and IRS does it again for three of three. That gives the Red Alliance the early lead by nine points. Blue with plenty of time to come back. Over two minutes are on the clock. Drivers now have control of these robots. And it's 1983 Skunk Works who takes possession for Red and makes it to the truss. Lining up, the shot goes into the audience. Off the backside, the Skunk's going to have to take the ball back in play from the human. And open wide, Skunks trade off for IRS, who grabs possession for Red. Plenty of time remaining in the match. Red Alliance still with the advantage. Your number three alliance wants to come out with an early win. And 492 is going to do what they can to shut them down. It's Titan who puts it down low for 31 points. They're going to keep Blue in the game with only eight points between the teams and under a minute and a half to play. It's the Skunks, 1983, who prime themselves for the trust over like it's no big deal. They take 10 points for red, and IRS can't get past the Blue Alliance to get a hold of the ball, while 492, the Titan, chases down the blue ball, sneaks it in, and lines up to do something about it with a minute left in play. 55 seconds on the clock. A rogue red ball goes right to the Skunks who take possession and hold on tight. And the Skunks able to outmaneuver the Blue Alliance heading towards the center of the truss. It's 1983 looking to score with not a lot of time left. The Red Alliance takes the lead to the next level with 35 seconds remaining. 9.56 for Blue, Eagle Cybertech slips one up off the ground, holding on to possession. The Blue Alliance needs to score as they go over the truss straight to the Titan. The Blue Alliance working on those assists. The best way to score is to work together with possible 30 points on top of anything they do. The Titans go low and drop it in for 31 with three, two, one. Congratulations in the match and the victory to the Red Alliance. The Red Alliance leaping into action as it's IRS who takes two with them. Blue puts one up, chases it with another, and Issaquah goes for their third. It's a successful shot. Very slight advantage to Red by only four points. Anyone's match with over two minutes on the clock. Right now, it's the Ta Eagle Cybertech who goes and attempts to defend against IRS. Issaquah with the stronger drivetrain pulls out of the way. And now it's the Skunks, 1983, who look to dispose of the game piece over the truss. And right in towards IRS, who's ready to score. Down low, Issaquah puts it away for 31 points, extending the red lead. Right now, over a minute and a half remaining, the Skunks work to pick up another ball, and it goes to Blue. It's a tussle in the corner, possession hard to come by for the Blue Alliance, Titan Robotics. They just want to score, and the Skunks are in the thick of it for Red. 
IRS once again trying to cover their bases, making their way back to the trust for 10 points and passing to the Lions. This is the best, best symbol of assists we have seen. Robots making their way across the field to try and pass. The Lions now taking possession from IRS. The Red Alliance sharing the job of scoring today with 65 seconds remaining. And here are the Lions who go over the trust. And the ball goes back to Issaquah. IRS in an uncontested third of the field. It's Issaquah looking to score with ample room. 9.56 coming from nowhere. They are too slow. IRS puts one away for 31 points. And 40 seconds remain on the clock. Red Alliance leads by 24 points right now. Blue tries to equalize. They get over for 10 and 30 seconds remain. Blue Alliance definitely still in this. Red wants to end it here. If the Blue Alliance wins, we go to a tiebreaker. So that kind of passion is what you see as 492 zips across the field and looks to score. With 10 seconds remaining, 11 points could belong to Blue having a hard time. It's 492 who can't score with three, two, one. Red Alliance finishes with a last ditch shot. We'll tally it up, clean the mess, and let you know if we're going to a quarterfinal four tiebreaker. Congratulations and moving on, the Red Alliance. But keep that applause rolling. Your captains, 492, then 956 and 4542 put up one excellent show today. And here we are, number two alliance against number three. You see IRS bringing with them a second ball. The first one is good. The second shot lined up. Blue goes too far back. Right now, the early advantage goes to red. IRS with a missed shot has to retrieve the ball from the other side of the field. And just like that, 488 tries to defend the Blue Alliance, keeping access away, but IRS has possession for Blue and looks to clear the field. Lining up, IRS is in position, having to fend off some Red Alliance. They decide to go for the low goal. And the Blue Alliance clearing the ball from play as everyone is in the same third of the field. It's tight quarters. Red fighting over possession. It now belongs to the Cyber Knights. Your number two alliance captains holding on tight for red. IRS defending well as a shot from blue comes over the top and red answers with one of their own. 488 on the chase. One and a half minutes in the match, 75 to 61, red leads. 488 trying to find a chance to shoot and they do, but it's high. Team Xbot now going to have to recover with just over a minute in play. It's 13-18 who gets in the thick of it to defend, but 488 scoops up the ball nonetheless. And Team Xbot opting for the low goal with 65 seconds. They pull into the lead with 126 points. 60 seconds remaining. The Blue Alliance still fighting in 40 points behind. And with that, anyone's game as the Lions pass to IRS, building up the assists. Issaquah now possesses in the final third. Looking at that low goal, IRS needs to score for blue. Red lead still stands with 35 seconds to go. It's a close match with 14 points separating the teams. Red Alliance leads, blue coming back. That sound of course means the final 30 seconds as the Skunks in blue take the ball. Racing for the trust, the Skunks pop it over for 10. Plenty of time remaining as the Red Alliance creeps ahead. Blue down by 15. Every point could make it or break it in this one, folks. Single seconds remaining. It's an all-out brawl for Blue. The Skunks want the ball for a truss. Three, two, and one. The Skunks put it over the top with a buzzer beater to end the match. A last minute shot from the Skunk Works on the Blue Alliance. Was it enough to put them ahead with a score of 153 to 47? Congratulations and the win to the Blue Alliance. Go! And here we go, IRS working their two ball autonomous. The first shot is up and through the hot goal. And 488 for red awaits. Awaits their chance to grab possession. Drivers now have control. 
It's important to remember the Blue Alliance came out ahead by a last minute shot here the first time. Over two minutes to play and the Blue Alliance has the early lead, but Red working to come back right off the bat. Human player from the Red Alliance tossed the ball in and it's stuck in the corner. While 49-11, the Cyber Knights try to defend, but the Blue Alliance partner, the Lions, come in to stop that. As the Skunks put a ball out to their human player, he tosses it back in right to IRS 13-18. The Blue Alliance 13-18 pushes their way past the red and lines up to score. With over a minute and a half remaining, IRS goes for 40 points and takes the blue lead. 106 to 61, the Blue Alliance hold the lead now by nearly 40 points. 49-11, the Cyber Knights pop one off for 40 red, bringing them back into the game. Still down by just five points, the Red Alliance has over a minute to come back. 1983 going to hold the lead for Blue with all they've got as a shot goes over the truss and nears the back corner goal with IRS on the chase. 60 seconds remaining, Issaquah picks one up for the Blue Alliance and takes the shot. It's up and through. Blue Alliance puts their lead up by another 45 points as the red shot gets defended. 45 seconds and the Red Alliance is losing their grip. Blue puts a shot over the truss for 10. With 35 seconds, the Red Alliance is not out, but Blue defends very well. It's Team Mash with possession now for Red. Looking to shoot, Mash is up and through for 20 with 25 seconds to go. Red Alliance wants to go to a tiebreaker and to do that, they need to win which means they need to score in the next 15 seconds. Blue puts one away for 20. Red Alliance with 10 over the top as it goes to 488, who's stuck on the wall. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. The Blue Alliance wanted to win it right here. Red wanted to go to a tiebreaker. And the victor with 186, congratulations. Moving on to our finals, the Blue Alliance. Go! And here we are, finals match number two. The Red Alliance up top for a hot goal. 44-88 tries again, and IRS puts it away. Amazing Autonomous gives the Red Alliance only a five point lead. It is anyone's match with over two minutes on the clock. Finals match number two. And this time it's for real here as the Blue Alliance works to get on top of the action. The Lions are fighting hard. Right now, IRS on the far end waiting to receive the ball from the Skunks who pop it over the truss. And it's crossing from both sides as we have two minutes remaining with Top Gun for Red getting in the thick of it to defend. But right now the Blue Alliance not going to work with that as IRS cuts back, finds an open hole and lines up for the shot. Just in time, the Red Alliance 1294 tries to stop them but IRS scores up top regardless. The Blue Alliance leads now 150 to 116 with a minute and a half remaining. Lion Robotics 2907 of the Blue Alliance passes it off to the Skunks. The Skunks take position for Blue and look at the trust, it's to the human player. Right now the Red Alliance hanging in there. Blue's lead stands with 34 points. 13-18 IRS zips to the corner trying to find an open slot. The triple assist lights are active for Blue. Red Alliance pulled back into it, only 13 down. The human player misses the shot for Red. 12-94 Top Gun working to get a piece of it. The red ball is all by itself. Red Alliance stops defending to chase the ball and Blue capitalizes with a top score. 200 points, the Blue Alliance leads by 43, Lions with possession. And it's the human player for Red who chases it down with 1294 on the hunt. 25 seconds as they pass to Shockwave. 44, 48, 44, 88 on the grab. It's in possession now for Red with 15 seconds to go over the truss. 
33-93 now looking downfield with 10 seconds to go. Blue in the lead. Five, four, three, two, and one. An excellent finals match. We'll tally the scores, validate the results, and tell you if we happen to need a tiebreaker today. Keep your eyes on the prize. We'll be back in just one moment. Congratulations and the victory here today to the Blue Alliance, your Pacific Northwest Auto Desk Champions. And as always, a humongous round of applause. Our first seeded alliance, 3393, 4488, and 1294 left it all on the field. We'll be back to give out some hardware in just one moment. We put our hands up like the ceiling can hold us, like the ceiling can hold us. Let's go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling.